The Tokyo 2020 Olympic and Paralympic Games have been postponed until next year because of the worldwide coronavirus pandemic. The event, due to begin on July 24, will now take place no later than summer 2021. In a joint statement, the organizers of Tokyo 2020 and the IOC said the unprecedented and unpredictable spread of the outbreak has seen the situation in the rest of the world deteriorating. International Paralympic Committee President Andrew Pearson said the postponement was the only logical option. Meanwhile, Fumi Layo Famiso, the founder and creative director of Nigeria Athletics, shared her view on the postponement. From the angle of the athletes, um, I actually feel for the athletes that have been preparing and training since the beginning of the year just for the Olympics. In fact, athletes have been preparing since for the past three years. You know, you know, like they say that um, the Olympic, the next Olympics begins the day um, the current one ends. So athletes have been on training and everything for the past three years only to be told that, oh, for this year that um, they won't be able to compete or to compete at the Olympics until next year. So from that angle, I actually feel for them. But then if you look at the angle of why it was postponed, which is the, the coronavirus, then it justifies the, um, the reason for them to do that because it was a thing we thought or the world thought that could be contained. That probably is just going to stay in Asia, it's just going to stay in China. But the rate at which Italy, um, Spain, US, England, the rate at which the outbreak has really spread in these countries, it's like what it is, okay, let's, we have to consider the health of not just the athletes, but as well the fans that are coming in. Because you can't hold the Olympics without the fans. The fans make the Olympics work. The fans give life to the Olympics. The fans give life to the athletes. So you can't hold an Olympics without fans. So if this situation occurs, then the right thing to do is just postpone it to 2021. Now, the effect of this is that next year, there's going to be so many competitions next year. The world indoors is next year. It was, it was earlier come, um, come to, um, postpone from this year to next year. The world indoors is next year. The world championship is next year and the Olympics. So I don't know how the three are going to work for next year. Having the world indoors, world championships and Olympics the same year, I don't know how it's going to work. But in, for the aspect of um, the athletes, I think that the best thing, because most of them have come out to talk. They said, you know what, our uh, health fault, our uh, family health fault. And some countries have already been pulling out. You know, Canada pulled out of it. Um, um, Australia as well, they pulled out of this year's Olympics, saying if the Olympics goes ahead, that they won't be sending anybody, don't be sending their people down. So in everything, the health the first thing. What matters most is people's health. And the rate of this outbreak, I think the first thing that everyone should think about, which is what the organizing committee of the Olympics and the Japanese Federation would have thought about, is that let's find solutions to the coronavirus first. After the coronavirus is settled and everything, then we can now think about other things. But for now, let's look at these aspects, look for a solution to coronavirus, then we can think about other things.